Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for February 26th through March 4th. Generally my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Pisces. Oh, decisions, choices. This right here is the confusion, the contemplation that you've been going through. This That card says, hold up. Hold up. Are you considering the consequences of your decisions? Okay. That's what that card means. What you own owns you. All right. So be careful with your decisions. It appears that you have, to, you have a choice to make and that it's a pretty complex one and it feels as though this week is that's the beginning of it okay you have a decision to make what are you gonna do okay this generally means love or money love or possessions okay that's generally what it means wait a minute wait a minute think twice before you make your decision here we have hope we have inspiration hopes and wishes. What do you really wish for, Pisces? What's your ultimate wish? Do you know? This signifies confusion. Do you know what your ultimate wish is? For many of you, it's in the past. Okay. I think that you're refusing to see a new approach. You're refusing to see a new approach in some arena of your life. Here we have a Taurus. Here we have Aquarius. This right here is saying that it's really time for you to listen to your inner guide with making this decision. Your inner guide has the answer. This is your inner guide. Your inner guide has the answer, Pisces. This card also comes out when there are some blockages that need to be removed. Believing in yourself, setting clear intentions for what you're wishing for. You need to set clear intentions for what you wish for. Oh my goodness. Because until you do, you're going to have lack of wish fulfillment. Here we have hopes and desires and wishes. Here we have wish fulfillment, but it's reversed. So we have wish fulfillment with wish fulfillment reversed based on your confusion, based on your decision. What is it that you want? What does your inner guide tell you? Your, your inner guide is telling you to do something in which you are refusing to do. And I know we just did a reading for you. And I can't change it. The only one that can is you. If this is your energy, so be it. Ego is in the way. You may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Here we have Taurus. Here we have Taurus, Taurus Virgo, or Capricorn. And it appears that, you know, you're going through some sort of midlife crisis. You have this fear of being let down if you follow your inner guide. Hey, I'm got, my inner guide tells me what I'm going to do or what I need to do. But I have this fear that I'm going to be let down if I do follow my inner guide. Damn it. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. So, you know, this, there's a soulmate connection here. When we have the king and queen of any suit in any reading, it means that you are dealing with a soulmate connection, okay? So you have a soulmate connection here, and money is in the way. But you have the resources within you to get through whatever this problem, dilemma is. I feel as though many of you this is the this, the answer is yes. If you have a question while you're watching this, this is the yes. This this means yes. Do it. Yes. Follow your intuition. Yes. Do it. Yes. Have hope for this situation. Yes. This is your wish. Whatever it is, the answer is yes. This also tells me that 
there's a lot of there's a lot of materialism here and that's why this card came up is it love or money so if there's lack of wish fulfillment in love this is ego driven this is the ego driven card I was telling you about somebody is not choosing love they're choosing money so I see that you need to shed your past shed the past ways this is shedding the past you and using the resources within you to follow your true path and stop refusing to see the new approach this is you need to shed the past ways and see the new approach but there's there's a lack of strength there's a lack of willpower there's a lack of de of devotion to following your inner guide it's like you're not quite ready to open up about how you feel I'm not quite ready to open up about how I feel, but I know how I feel. I really, I think you do know how you feel, but your ego and pride is in the way. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is for the 26th, the 26th through the 4th. What do we got? What is this nine of cups reversed? There's a lack of wish fulfillment because you're of your uh, indecision. You need to make a decision and you need to either choose love or money. You know, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Love or career, love or love over everything else or not. I mean, that's what this is. This is the question of the, of the week. Um, you need to focus on the future. It seems like you've been really patient, waiting for things. Waiting, Maybe you're waiting to hear from somebody. Maybe you're waiting for things to happen with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe, or it could be a Leo, whatever. It could be a Gemini. I mean, we have Virgo. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn multiple times. I feel as though you've been waiting. You've been patient. You've been waiting and expecting something. And you've make, been waiting for this new beginning I do feel like something new is coming there is a new chapter ahead of you something good this is really good I think you should you uh, should be receiving some sort of unexpected welcome um, stroke of luck perhaps that you've been waiting for okay something that you have been waiting for is is coming and there you are the moon is represented by Pisces. There's been some kind of fear. Some kind of fear of a new beginning, perhaps. Fear of being let down. There's this there's, there's back and forth. This back and forth energy. This confusion. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? But with the Wheel of Fortune here, you are, whatever has happened or is happening right now is bringing you closer. It's bringing you closer to the purpose. I feel as though there's a change of course right ahead of you, Pisces, right ahead of you. And it's something that has been cooking for a while now. It could... It could... Uh, Shake up your independence, put it that way. Um, I do feel as though you've been wounded. You've really been wounded by something. And now it's time to step out of the storm, step out of this stormy weather. It's, it's time for you to look at this from a whole new perspective and see it as a time of purpose this all happened for a reason whatever happened happened for a reason oh my god there's been a lot of dis depression and, and anguish and despair but I think you're coming out of it I think that this is going to start to dissolve I think the trouble the 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 troubled times that you've been going through are st going to start to, to dissolve and things are going to start to get better for you. I see a new opportunity being presented, perhaps a, 
a, a new beginning, okay? A new stability, a new security, a new beginning that uh, that makes you stable, that makes you secure. Um, maybe you will be receiving some sort of gift or even a new partnership, okay? There's a new partnership, I believe, on the horizon for you. This is a gift. It could be a gift of money. If you've been struggling financially, you could be receiving a gift of money or a large sum of money. You could be receiving some money that you've been waiting for. If you've been struggling financially, you may be receiving oh, some money. But remember how we started this reading out. Is, it, is, is, is life about money or love? Oh, God. Oh, gee. So we have the Ace of Pentacles next to the Ace of Wands reversed. So you could be receiving a new opportunity, okay? A new opportunity, perhaps, of money. But it doesn't get you anywhere with this Ace of Wands reversed. It doesn't get you what you really want. Oh, because you really want love. Ace of Cups. Oh. God. So we have these three aces now right next to each other. Aces are about manifestation. They're also about independence. They're also about your thoughts become things. Okay? One of them is reversed. So I feel as though you are going to be receiving something that on a tangible level. Okay? You're going to be receiving something that you can actually touch. Okay? But, <laughs> you may not accept it, or they may not accept it. Somebody may not accept it, or somebody may not see the worth, or somebody may not see the excitement of it, or somebody may not want to go down that road. Could be you, could be the other person. But it is love. It is love. So I do believe that there is a gift that you receive that comes from death, death of the idea, death of the old you, death of the of whatever you've shed, which leads to true love. Because right underneath this Ace of Wands is this magician. You shed something from the past, and this is a feeling within yourself. This is the old you. This is being willing to shed the old you. Which this is this, this Ace of Wands reversed. So I think you shed something and you receive this new opportunity in love. You could be uh, attending some sort of gathering this week. This, uh, you know, you could re attend a gathering this week where you, you meet this, you receive this gift. Or you receive this, or you meet this person, or you come in contact with this person. This is also, you know, there's discontent here. There's discontent whether you want to, if you, whether you want to even do this. You know, there is. There's a lot of discontent here. There's a lot of uh, fear and doubt that this, this could work out. And procrastination. This is a test. You are absolutely being tested. Love or money? What's most important? And I know that I keep saying that, but the, the, you know that's what it is. Love or money? Love or money? Love or money? It is. This is a call between love or money. I'm telling you why. What is it? What do you choose? What do you choose? And that's why there's so much confusion. What comes first, your career or love? I feel as though there's some discontent over getting into a commitment with somebody because, you know, should I focus all my time and energy on my career and my finances or should I give some of my energy to love? There is um, a need to reevaluate and sorry about that Pisces had to take that call um 
so anyway, I feel as though you are going through a time of reevaluation of what your what your wishes are, what you desire, what your inner guide is telling you you want, and choosing between career and love. Okay, I feel as though it's a time of mental conflict for sure this week. I think you are being presented with something that is, you know, tangible and exciting, but you're not sure. You're not sure about it if you are if this could lead to something solid or not i do see that it could lead to something solid with this ace of pentacles this is solid this is love so it could lead to solid love but i feel like you feel you're unsure i see that you're very unsure of this whole situation and you are being called to just do the right thing be honest just be honest do the right thing something is you know this could be somebody from your past because this is from the past and oh gosh and you're being called to have strength and to open up and to be confident and think positive about the future I think there's been some kind of split there's been some kind of break which will which has caused you to learn strength and you may have been hiding your feelings in addictions you may have been um, overindulging in certain ways to get through some sort of split some kind of breakup which has caused these feelings of unsurety I feel like there's been some kind of breakup that has made you feel really unsure unsure about the future and now you, you're being called to follow your in, inner guide in regards to perhaps a new opportunity or even a reconciliation that has made you very unsure of what to do next. So I think that this, this week is about bringing some balance back to your life. It's about, it's about acknowledging your indecision seriously acknowledging it and, and taking action and deciding what it what is it what is it that I want and really listening to your inner guide you know because I feel like you have this wish fulfillment and it's regarding both you want love and money but you have to give effort to both and I think that that's what the problem is you have to choose I mean do you want to put effort into both or do you want to put effort into just one so I do feel as though you're going to have you're being called to step outside of your comfort zone and to to follow your inner guide and perhaps somebody could enter your life you could you could meet up with this person at some kind of gathering you probably already know who this person is and you know you don't you don't know how to handle it so you you're going to be called to have faith because this is faith this is faith okay have faith in love I think it's a time of blending because this is blending 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 are you ready to blend both because you could certainly have the opportunity with somebody that you connect with at some sort of gathering Taurus another soulmate connection okay there's a soulmate connection here it doesn't have to be with Taurus can be with anybody Okay, but you have a lot of Taurus here, Virgo and Capricorn. You do have some other signs too. You take it the way you see it, but whatever. I feel as though you will have the opportunity to connect with someone this week, should you choose to have faith <gasps> and let go of your fears of being let down. So Pisces, that's what I have. Um, I think that your patience has paid off. Yep. Yep. And now it's time for you to make a decision based on your uncertainty. 
let go of the uncertainty, shed the past ways, and make a decision. With faith. And that's what I have. Talk to you later.